morning YouTube well day three 269 miles all the way to the furthest western point of Scotland I've got to say I didn't sleep very well last night god damn crows why do crows never sleep you right, buds didn't think you was coming out otherwise I'd have put your goggles on he was asleep refused to get up didn't you, this morning kid Good thing about the old pop-up idiot proof tent though is uh, it popped up and uh, didn't take long to set up well it always seems to take longer to pack away well, I was feeling a little bit better today but I guarantee she'll be hanging by uh, the end of the day the big sexy green machine is oh, she's doing all right in hindsight, I wish I'd changed the rear shock now because uh, there it goes back to sleep. Look. Because um, the rear's gone really soft, it's on full preload now. We're bouncing all over the place yesterday, and I'm also noticing when, uh, when I'm getting on and off the bike, getting the side stand down and getting it up, I'm having to lean it a lot further. Uh, across so uh, a lot of bouncy roads yesterday I just had to let these guys go but yeah as I was saying yesterday anybody that thinks that uh, this is a glorified holiday I'm telling you it is a grueler and uh, I hadn't realized how unconditioned I actually got from riding you know I've gone from riding 300 to 500 miles a day to uh, being a fat trucker for the last few months but it is what it is yeah you can feel every bump through this suspension now so fingers crossed she gets us all the way around so we get to the western point we're, we're about halfway then so so we're in convoy at the moment we've got sidekick leading we've got helmet head it's, uh, second spot and then just in front of me here we've got uh, young man called Joe from the works if you haven't uh, seen his channel go and check it out he is the man that can put a span in his hand he'll fix anything he uh, to be fair there's three of us on pans sidekick helmet head and myself we all opted for a bit of Honda reliability and uh, he was adamant he wanted a triumph I thought he's had his problem after problem, bless him. But to the point he didn't even know if he was going to make it. He was still fixing it the night before we left. And uh, I was glad to see that he did. Uh, he did make it. He's now got a problem with his front brake. That uh, he hasn't really got one. Looks like they've had a good bit of rain here. Hopefully, uh, them dark clouds do one. Don't fancy getting wet. It's. Uh, turtle helmet cover will get bloody heavy that is for sure there's been a few times I'm like I'm going to have to take this helmet cover off because the wind yesterday just felt like it was ripping me head off but I've persisted that's what all you good folks have uh, donated money for was uh, for us to do this whole route dressed as a turtle I did take it off to go to the Chinese last night, I did fancy being turtle soup. While you're the little woman in the Chinese, she did make me laugh because I still had my helmet cover on. And uh, she jumped into the ninja turtle pose, which when a Chinese person does it, it's quite spectacular. Yesterday wasn't about the amount of miles, it was just the, the roads that we were riding at. Spectacular roads with beautiful views. but. Uh, 
crack off over 300 miles on those roads all day it was hard work snow up in the mountains I've got to say I'm feeling a little bit old chilly side all nipples are like bullets absolutely beautiful it's nice to feel that sun coming through just need to get past this bloody motorhome bloody motorhomes Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Hopefully it goes left, go on, go left You want to go to Newton Moor, go on Oh yes, catching. Wow, Mother Nature's not been too kind today. Had to put the waterproof jacket on. Forgot to pick the wife's waterproof trousers up, so she's got my waterproof trousers on. Good thing about the pan is that uh, you get quite a bit of uh, protection from the elements with the with your legs. But. There's a big butt. It's the big green sexy machine has a problem. And on the last break when we stopped, I was just uh, giving the bike a look over like you do. And the rear shock started to weep. And uh, there's fluid leaking out of it, which <laughs> doesn't sit well in the back of my mind. So the sidekick bless him's got my roll bag, which has took quite a bit of weight off the top of the top box. But even so, we're only, you know, today's sort of the halfway point to doing this trip. So at some point, I've got to say to myself, will it last? Will it complete the, the 2,600 miles? Is it safe to do so? You know, at the end of the day, I've got my wife on the back and I've got Buddy on the front. And... Uh, I've destroyed quite a few shocks within my working life on durability and believe me when they go they go and that's in a controlled environment at low speeds uh, can I find one can I f get it fixed I don't know this is something I'm gonna have to sit down and uh, get on the old tippy tappy I think I'm gonna struggle to find one <laughs> where I am now, that's for sure. You still gotta find bloody fuel, let alone a new shop for a 21 year old boy. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon. Side by side and through and to what we can do <laughs> Oh dear, where do we end up? On the most shock destroying road in the world I tell you, it's all part of the adventure <laughs> It just would be, wouldn't it? You know, it's, it's odd law the sh You notice the shock's leaking just before you hit the road from hell and because we are in the middle of nowhere so if it does go out here, we are totally screwed. I don't even know the phone signal, let alone if they have RAC out this far. But we keep trekking onward in the hope that we survive. <laughs> the 800 Tiger would absolutely love it down here. It would be in its element. Lots of little uh, rises to jump off. 
Lots of gravel to spit up. It's a bit like riding a kangaroo. Ugh. With an 1100 engine shoved off his house. So yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We've obviously got to get back to some sort of civilization. I mean, today alone we've still got 137 mile to do. Will this shop do 137 mile? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Western point. Western point. <laughs> <laughs> the wettest, <laughs> the wettest, most western point in Scotland. Okay. A nice, nice lighthouse. So that's the furthest northern and the furthest western points done now. Been a real wet, a miserable day, and shocks leaking on Big Bertha. Buddy ain't happy. You're getting your head wet now. Get in, love. Have a... He ain't come out of his bag all day. He's like, shut that. It's winter. So hopefully, if we do start to head back inland, we get to see some, uh, we get some nice sunny weather again. But hey, I suppose on a nice day. Yeah. yeah, we're all here look, we made it, we're alive! Say <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Take> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>